This is what John and Fred were faced with. They say it was the hardest thing they've ever done. Uh, so the bogs were tough, um, the weather was tough, uh, the climb was very, very tough. Uh, when you consider in about uh, 10 or 15 minutes at the most, you climb twice the height of the rock. John became very sick, but they still made it over 5,000 metres high in these conditions. Oh, a little bit crook, yeah, got a bit of bronchitis, but one of us, yeah, you know, had to be rescued off the mountain, one of the team, and uh, I felt as if I would have to be too, but uh, Fred and I stuck together. John uh, has a, a pre-existing uh, condition with his heart, um, and uh, some might say uh, his head, uh, because it's not probably the sanest thing either of us have done. But they say seeing the poverty in Africa was harder than the climb. You see the, the number of people, the, the explosion of the population, uh, no work, 60% unemployed, kids everywhere, no hope, no school. Yeah, that's pretty tough. But they'd do it again if it meant helping these kids. For John especially, it's always been about the kids. For me, it will always be about the kids. Uh, it's what we have that they haven't got. John and Fred are taking some time to recover, but illness and rough terrain won't stop them from helping orphans again. Imogen Ball, Prime 7 News.